I have been getting so many questions about what I think the potential for Antwerp is. Therefore, I just decided to make a quick video for you guys about just this topic. First of all, before we start, I do have to say that I think you should make your own decision on if you want to invest. That is also why I won't tell you to absolutely invest or to absolutely not invest. I will present the information that is available to us and then you can make your own decision. Supply. First off, I want to talk about the supply on Antwerp because there is a lot to cover. The stickers have been available for more than two months and one week and the 75% sale has been ongoing for more than a month and a week already. This is quite a while for a sale, but I expect nothing less from Valve because they do love that sweet, sweet cash. People expected the sale to end with the recent update, but they didn't end it yet, causing people to get a bit concerned about the supply. I don't think it changes much, to be honest. I mean, we already expected to get a load of supply for Antwerp, since they look great and it's following Stockholm, causing people to think it might do the same profit again. But I can promise you now that Antwerp won't have as fast and high of a return as Stockholm. That is simply not possible at this point. I do think there is some potential left because of all the people warning people to not risk it all on Antwerp and to just not invest because, oh, it's such a high supply and oh, it's so bad. I mean, just look at any CSGO investing video right now and you'll hear them warn you about Antwerp and high supply. This might cause people to not mass invest like happened with RMR. In general, I think it will not be that bad again, simply because back then all of the major stickers we ever had had done well profit-wise, causing a lot of mass investing and full trust in the investment, which led to the oversupply with stickers that don't even look good. Now that people know that they aren't always guaranteed profit, because nothing is, obviously, but people still think that, people will generally be more careful with investing in the major stickers. I can at least say it probably won't be an RMR 2.0, because RMR has insane supply, and no applying demand because they look terrible. Even if we get the same insane supply as RMR with Antwerp, the applying demand will be higher, causing it to be at least a bit better than RMR. Let's now talk a bit about the supply that's currently on the market. Last time there was a big undersupply in both the Contenders and the Challengers capsule, but especially the Challengers capsule had way too few of them actually bought, which made it go insane in price, which is why it's now 1 euro 60, 1 euro 70 on the Steam market in like a couple months months that's insane that's why I want to look at the supply on the market, because then we can compare the difference. Last time, everyone who bought into Stockholm and invested into it was like, okay, everyone wants the Legends capsule, so I'll just buy those, that's safe. Therefore, there were around 408,000 of those on the market when it got discontinued. Currently, we actually have less Legends capsules on the market than when the Stockholm capsules were discontinued, because there's about 373,000 Legends capsules on the market, which is still a lot, but it's less than last time, less than Stockholm. Although the Stockholm numbers are from when it was discontinued and the Antwerp stickers aren't discontinued yet, so if they keep it on for a month longer, yeah, it's gonna be way higher. We can see where those capsules went though, because both the Contenders and the Challengers are nowhere near as low as they were last time. When they were discontinued, the Challengers and the Contenders of Stockholm were at 41,000 for the Contenders and around 24,000 for the Challengers, which was really low. This time around, the Antwerp Contenders has around 167,000 capsules on the market right now and the Challengers capsule which was last time very limited in supply this time also has around 176,000 so it's still the least out of the three but it has a lot more than last time. It is surprising to me that still the Contenders and Challengers capsules both have a lot less than the Legends capsule but that's to be expected people still love the Cloud9 holo the Navi holo and this will bring more balance this time you have more choice you could go for Legends because you think hmm there's fewer of them they're still quite nice there's the cloud nine it's really nice people will always want those but you can also go with the contenders or challengers because last time they did great and they were rare but this time they might not be so rare although the hollows are really nice and people will probably want them still so that's uh, the pick for you if we move over now to the autographs this is a lot different because stockholm only had two autograph capsules and they weren't really important to anyone because they didn't really look good and they weren't really as nice as the ones of antwerp this time are plus the hollow effect were not too nice they were boring so i won't go over that much there was a bit of profit to be made there but i think long term that one isn't going to be the most important one it did grow about 15 cents but everything in stockholm grew massively so what can you really say about that this time around we do actually have all the autographs for all the teams not just the finalists or the champions like was with stockholm so there's a lot more options there's three autograph capsules for the legends the challengers and the contenders and there's another autograph capsule for the winners for the champions which is also really unique, so we'll talk about that separately. 
The autograph numbers are mostly the same. The Legends has the highest amount of capsules with 113,000 right now. Following is the Challengers capsule, which has around 81,000, which is roughly in line with what the Legends and Contenders have as a ratio of their normal stickers. But the Contenders autograph capsule is different. Where last time the Challengers capsule did really well, this time the Contenders autograph capsule is actually really rare on the market. There's only 39,000 on there as of right now. And it contains the Rocks Hollow, which is right now expensive but i don't know if there will be a lot of demand for that long term we're gonna have to wait and see on that although it is the lowest supplied capsule apart from the champions capsule which i'll get to in a minute so that's worth taking a look at at least now for the champions capsule because it's really low in supply but that also means that there's not that much demand for it right now although i do really like the hollows that are in there so maybe in the future we'll see some more demand for it it's definitely worth looking at at least like there's a lot of supply for the legends contenders and challengers team logo sticker capsules but there's not so much for the champions autograph capsule so that's definitely an option i do hope they discontinue them soon but knowing valve don't let your hopes get up too high for that the looks when it comes to the looks in general i think they look really good like stockholms did as well i can't imagine valve keep re-releasing the same good looking stickers again and again and again because that will result in copies of stockholm till the end of time causing a breakdown of investing in new majors that would get more demand for the older sticker collections but i don't think they will keep doing these clean no border stickers till the end of time because people will get bored of them very quickly. This means that the Antwerp and Stockholm stickers will be quite well liked in the future simply because of the cleanness and the uniqueness both in the different hollow effects and maybe in the foils or the glitters. Also because they are obviously very clean and very nice like the Caddo 14s. The hollow effects. The hollow effects from both Antwerp and Stockholm are insanely unique. In my opinion Antwerp is a tiny bit better because it has even more color range and variants. But they're both great. We have never had this wide of a range in colors and matches. Even if we do get more borderless boring stickers, which would be quite unlikely, the hollow effects will still be unique and can make them very desirable in the long term because of the pairing on skins. If you want a cool sticker craft and you don't care to pay a bit more, these will be very useful. Maybe in the future we might see a new skin that almost perfectly matches one of the Antwerp or Stockholm hollow effects and thus will cause that sticker to spike, like happened recently with the Luminosity Gaming Hollow from the MLG Columbus 2016 simply because its hollow effect shares the same color palette with the new AK-47 Ice Gold from the new recoil case. ROI. One problem for the Antwerp stickers is the fact that the hollows are in the pink tier, causing the ROI of opening a case to be way lower because you get the high value items, the hollows, a lot less now. This could also be considered a good thing in theory because it makes the hollows a lot harder to unbox. This might make the hollow stickers a better investment than the capsules themselves, but that is just speculation and that would mean that they are undervalued right now, which I might agree with actually. Since the chance of getting a pink is about 3.2%, you now have to open 100 divided by 3.2 is 31.2 capsules to open one hollow. If you assume one capsule costs 0.25 euro, this means one hollow on average should cost 31.2 times 0.25 equals about 7 euro 80 to get. But the average for a hollow on Steam is only 1 euro 92 right now. So if we compare that to the Stockholm rate, you see that for Stockholm you only have to open 6 capsules on average to get a hollow, which is a lot easier. This does mean that Antwerp hollows don't really decrease the price of the Stockholm hollows because they look so similar. If there were to be the same rarity, the Antwerp stickers would be way cheaper and the same looking killing Stockholm, at least for now until Antwerp would become so expensive that Stockholm would be cheaper again. Now they are both different in rarity, making them both expensive expensive which is better for Stockholm. Which means Valve do actually care about keeping some investments not crashing totally because they could have totally crashed Stockholm and made more people buy Antwerp which is actually quite a good sign. The fact stands if you can open either capsule and one gets you a lot less ROI back and thus a lot less cool stickers like the hollow ones which you would actually want. Which one would you choose? I would know which one. My opinion. I myself have a few capsules and a few stickers but no major investment. <laughs> See what I did there? Major your investment uh please someone do something about this this is getting out of hand now the bad dad jokes well anyway what i mean by that is i don't have more than a few percent of my budget into the antwerp capsules so if it does go badly i don't go bankrupt you can of course make your own decisions on risk and how much of your budget you should put into antwerp if any i just like spreading out my risk as much as possible so should you invest well, in my opinion, yes, but not a big part of your budget. Although, 
do decide for yourself. Although if you fear that there will be too much supply or it won't be a good investment, there are a lot of other options for investing, like I mentioned in this video. If you instead want to know if it's better to invest into Antwerp or Stockholm, click this video instead. If you're still watching, you're truly awesome. Oh, by the way, at 1000 subs we're doing a giveaway where you actually make a good chance to win something, so if you don't want to miss that, you know what to do. You won't regret it. Anyway, thank you. Goodbye.